Well, Yugoslavia was an important player in the, in the world, especially after World War II when the United States uh, took on the Soviet Union and made it its chief enemy. When uh, Tito split from Stalin and formed a third way, not only Tito, this includes uh, Nehru in India, it includes Tito, it includes Sukarno in Indonesia, and Gabdel Abdul Nasser in Egypt, and Nkrumah in Ghana. These are hugely rich countries with huge resources. The socialist Yugoslavia was, uh, you know, in a way, a Casablanca of the Cold War. We were, you know, neither in the West nor in the East, and uh, we had relations with both. And, and Yugoslavia, as a leader of the non-aligned movement, had a role to play in this uh, divided world. There was a desire for neutrality to avoid the arms build up, to waste money, to use the resources of these countries to help people in their countries. However, shortly after the split with the Soviets in 1948, Yugoslavia, still shattered after World War II, needed to consolidate its economy and began to receive loans from the United States and the World Bank. Prvi kredit koji smo dobili u temelju te nastajanja jugoslavenske privrede dobili smo 1949. godine u visini od 3 milijuna dolara. Uvjet za dobivanje tog zajma prema Sjedinjim američkim državama i Svjetskoj banci bili su da Jugoslavija vrati grčke partizane iz Južne Srbije i Makedonije u Grčku. Po povratku istih u Grčku zapravo su Grci sve poklali. The lives of those partisans were the price for the consolidation of Yugoslavia's economy. It didn't matter that Yugoslavia declared itself neutral. John Foster Dulles, who was Eisenhower's Secretary of State, very clearly said that neutrality was immoral. It's just a strange concept, but that was his attitude, that communism had to be rolled back so the U.S. was taking a very aggressive position. Three of these five people that I mentioned were removed with the participation of the United States from power. Only two made it. Tito, who was a giant, because he fought as a partisan, he had a strong army and he had a strong base, and he was able to say no to Stalin. At the same time, the U.S. could not get in with him. But the U.S. was able to slowly creep in with their loans. Krediti su bili od 3 milijuna do 15, 20, do 30 milijuna na 5 godina, 10 godina. Znači, mi smo ipak imali srednjoročne, a ne dugoročne kredite. Mi smo, uzimajući te kredite, u pozadini imali da nam je Zapad, posebno Sjedine američke države, dalo specijalni tretman Jugoslaviji. Kad sam ja otkrio što je zapravo taj specijalni tretman, piše doslovno u izvornim dokumentima iza tih kredita. Maksimalo ih pomagati do uništenja. 